Following record results in global revenue for fruit sales in the year 2022-23, final numbers released by Zespri show global revenue for fruit sales were down 3% and global sales volumes reduced by 15 million trays. Anaru Timu Timu, no Tuhoe Tauranga Moana, is chair at Māori Kiwi Fruit Growers Incorporated and he's with us now. Tēnā koe e hoa, thanks for joining us. Mm, Kia Neil. Now, Zespri has said that the lower value of kiwi fruit was due to quality issues in 2022-23. Was the quality the biggest issue? Well, I think it's probably two factors. One is around quality, and then the other is around actual volume of fruit um, coming out of New Zealand. And so that's impacted by those weather events kind of um, in mid and late summer, including Cyclone Gabriel. Mm. So the actual volume of fruit is, is, is a lot less. Um, and, you know, that's down by about 40 million trays or so from last year. And how do you navigate issues like Cyclone Gabriel? Well, I suppose for Māori landowners in particular, we're in for the long game, and that sounds like a, um, a little bit of a broken broken record, but because um, the way Māori landowners and Ahu Whenua structure their financial affairs, um, and, and kind of pay off debt as, so, as, as fast as possible. Um, they're able to kind of ride out some of those ups and downs of economic downturns and, um, and rebuild, uh, you know, their orchards, particularly for those that have been affected um, really, really badly. And you've got to take the good with the bad, don't you? I mean, that's, that's part of our challenge. When it's good, it's great. When it's bad, how do we deal with that and, and move on? So how bad was the last season for Māori growers? Well, I think I, th I think for the season, um, predominantly we're down on on uh, on kiwi fruit green fruit uh, for the season by about twenty million trays, and um, out of a uh, out of thirty million trays, um, and so we're uh, we're probably weighted fifty fifty with gold kiwi mm -hmm. fruit, which is a, a big money earner, and and green kiwi fruit, but um, it's good to see. I suppose this is a little bit of a silver lining, and if we apply industry figures across the Māori footprint, it's good to see that that actually the gold um, fruit hasn't been affected affected as as much. So I suppose that's a you know that's a, a little bit of a good news overall. Mm. Um, it's been a pretty difficult year. And I guess one of the challenges was also having to deal with a labour shortage. How significant was this shortage for the sector? Well, I've been lucky enough um, to have a look at our post-harvest entities, which are the pack houses uh, a little bit more kind of recently. And they're um, one part of the supply chain, which is a very important in regards to getting, you know, kind of fruit picked and packed and shipped out. And they seem to be faring pretty well um, this year. Um, two things. One is just the opening of the doors for RSC workers. Uh, and a lot of those are from our kind of Pacific cousins. And two, the implementation of automation and so I'm, I'm more reliance on kind of robotics and, and so forth. Mm. The challenging thing is next year that it's, it's forecasted to be 50% um, more trays uh, than this year. And so that's going to be a real, um, you know, kind of real challenge for the, for, for the industry again. So what's been done now? What are you preparing to help try and, and improve the returns for, for the next few seasons? Well, um, I think you kind of mentioned it in, um, you know, kind of early on around quality. And so that's been uh, a real problem right throughout the supply chain. And so whether that's, um, you know, kind of how we pick our fruit, how we pack our fruit and how it gets to market, that was be, that's been a big problem, um, you know, over the last couple of years, particularly last year. And so there's just a big focus on doing all the little steps right, um, right from the orchard, uh, right through to, you know, th right through to the consumer. And I think I think we'll we'll be um, we'll see um, good results, um, you know, kind of around that that will be sustainable and kind of push forward for the future. Okay, now just a, a slight change in topic. We have the Ahu Whenua Awards this Friday. What are you looking forward to most? And are you a little bit excited by the young up and comers moving into the sector? Yeah, you know, horticulture gets its um, time in the limelight every three years with the Ahu Whenua Trophy, which has been going for 90 years now. And so um, Nuku Hadfield, who's the um, chair for the management committee and their team, um, have really uh, created an exciting uh, event 
um, around highlighting, um, you know, horticulture and kiwi fruit. Um, and those those three finalists um, from around the motu, um, they'll be there, um, and 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 kind of um, opening their doors and showing what a, what such a great industry horticulture is. Um, and then also, um, it's a, just an opportunity for for young um, rangatai that are in the industry to um, you know to kind of show and highlight um, the things that they've been doing. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Anaru Timu Timu, Chair of Māori Kiwi Fruit Growers Incorporated. Appreciate your time today. Ngā mihi. Yeah, kia ora.